welcome first to this town hall and this is what we have first for the agenda today we will go through what is the funding we'll also have some special announcements uh, a big milestone uh, from the deep funding team just to keep a little bit of curiosity going but you, you guys probably can guess it um some um Updates in terms of the job and collaboration platform and an actual way you can give your insights and make a difference in helping us create this for deep funding and for the wider community. And um, also the operation system and automation created by the operation circle, which is very interesting. So just for a bit of context, what is deep funding? Deep funding is a decentralized grants program tasked to fund projects and initiatives that are beneficial to Singularity Net. Okay, and what is Singularity Net? I think the best way to identify it is through the mission, the mission of creating a democratic, decentralized and beneficial AGI. And we welcome everyone to join us in this mission. And all we ask or well, all we want is for you to come with an open mind, you know, be creative, join us in this spirit of collaboration and also be kind to each other so we can grow um, and, and get to this very ambitious goal. Deep Funding is a community-run program, so anyone can become a member of the community. If this is your first time, you can become a member as well, and you can participate in many ways. You can propose, you can vote, you can join our expert reviewers group and help us review proposals. You can participate in these town halls and these discussions and steer the future of Deep Funding. And uh, as you join the community, you also have the circles, the opportunities within the circles. Circles are important pieces of the community because we are decentralizing the operations. And instead of growing the team, the deep funding team, we have circles made of community members that execute important things within our fund. And you can join us. We have, for example, this event circle. We have marketing circle, review circle, many different circles. And you'll hear today as well from the operations circle, for example. As for this town hall, is a place for you, for the community to gather. Feel free to raise your hand. Feel free to unmute and speak, uh, of course, respecting each other, but you can always put your questions. Um, and it's the perfect place to discuss everything deep funding. You can ask questions and start your journey here. As for the town hall, we want it to be community driven. So if you have any topics you want to talk about, if you have projects you want to present, ideas related to deep funding and Singularity Net, please, you can book a space with us. We have an, our new community website. Maybe I'll put a link here or a QR code or something so you guys can easily get there. And you can simply book uh, a, a slot and talk about um, a specific topic. You can also try to host a breakout room if you prefer a more, um, how do you say, um, comfortable environment with fewer people and where you can speak more freely without having things uh, for everyone and prepared as much. And uh, finally, if the slide moves, yeah, we'll have, let's start with the deep funding updates. I believe Raphael and Jan have some updates for us today. I'll stop the sharing. Yes, we do. And Jan, if I may, I would love to restart uh, being quick for you to come later and uh, exp uh, well, give your update as well. So as many of you probably already know, we have ended the process of uh, deep funding round five changes, considering round five to round, to round four to round five. Uh, but we are still concatenating all the information and assessing, as you might remember, we are only releasing or launching round five when we have some uh, specific topics covered as the technical part for it and also our review process um, which is at this point being, uh, it's on the uh, ongoing process for us to create uh, and especially to bring more people in. But we are going to, to discuss this uh, probably next week with the all hands as well. And later giving you the, all the changes in a proper way for you to understand, study, educate yourselves in order to be able to participate in round five. Okay, given that, one major, it's not update, but uh, a remark or a request for all of you is we are in need, I would say, uh, for more 
community members that join our circle strategy or our circles. Especially, as you can see in our portal, we have the, the banner for marketing members that uh, we are really interested in having you working along with us, uh, well, performing many tasks of uh, and, and ways of making this community uh, even bigger and better. But also, it would be very interesting to have more applications for the review circle, which is also composing the um, the expert review process, right? Which is one of the parts of our rounds and also RFPs and others that are coming. So very important uh, role in our community and also in our program. So go there, go to our community website where these forms for application, where they are and make yourself part of this circle environment and help us to achieve our purpose and mission, okay? Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to receive your applications. And now I'm going to give the floor to Jan, which has a, also exciting stuff to talk about. Thank you all. All right, let me just start by sharing my screen. Oh. I'm uh, a humble participant and I'm not allowed to share my screen. Maybe somebody can fix that or I will just do it out. It's, it's fixed now, Jan. All right, thank you. By the way, Cardozo, I love it. They do QR codes instead of the links. Uh, then for instance, now we could put the QR code to the Google, to the form of application and et cetera, et cetera. That's a good one to put in the slides. Thank you. All right, I, I'll also make it really short and I will show rather than tell. Um, I think today is really an amazing day. Um, we don't have a huge amount of people in this call, I have to be honest, but um, actually there's a lot to enjoy today. So I hope uh, all these people that are not able to come will look at it in the video uh, afterwards because um, yeah, Deep Funding Round 5 update, uh, I'm uh, giving you an RFP update, we'll have an operations portal update, and we have the output of the workgroup uh, collaboration and, uh, and, and jobs uh, portal. So yeah, you could say that we have been very working very hard and productive over the past months, and Sometimes you don't see a lot of all these things happening behind the scenes and behind the curtains. And um, sometimes then they all come together. <laughs> so maybe you've already seen it. It was in a newsletter that uh, that went out. But um, today we uh, uh, put live uh, or opened 14 out of 15 uh, RFPs. Um, and most of them are around um, uh, AGI and OpenCock Hyperon, etc. And uh, I show you here the homepage of the website. There's a small th uh, link you can click here, but you can also use this menu, which has been a little bit uh, updated, and go to uh, active uh, RFPs. And here you see that there are 15 RFPs. Most of them are from SingularityNet. Um, I think this page looks absolutely marvelous. So thanks for uh, the developers and, and Greg, the designer who have been uh, creating this. Over the past, I don't know, three, six months or something, uh, we've been working on it. And I'm really proud to see it so well filled right now. That's not my work. That's the work of my colleagues, uh, Keller and Matt and Ben, actually. Uh, so they all, and Shuke uh, has been uh, been helping. So they all have done a, a great job. Um, so there's, there's a lot here to enjoy. Um, with Deep Funding Round 5 uh, still a little bit ahead of us, uh, this is something you can really uh, sink your teeth in. They are not the easiest ones, um, but you can see also that the amounts are quite significant. Um, so there's really some serious work here for uh, serious uh, developers, I would say. 
And this is just the overview. Um, you can click on one of these RFPs and then you will see um, how long it is still active. Now, this is not a, uh, a completely fixed deadline if for one of these RFPs, the, the team that will do the uh, selection sees that they would like to have it open a little bit longer to get some more high quality uh, proposals in, it is possible that it could be uh, postponed. Uh, you see the main information there at the top. Uh, in this case, there's only one winner. Some RFPs will allow multiple projects to, uh, to be awarded. Uh, you see the complexity, estimated execution time. That means uh, how long we think as a rough guess uh, it will take any team uh, to deliver the, the outcomes of this uh, uh, project. Um, it's not a hard deadline or anything. It's just to give you some idea of the complexity of, uh, of this RFP. And you see um, RFP description, you see um, uh, all information uh, related to the RFP. We're still working on this page a little bit. We'll have a menu on top of this. Some have a little bit more, some have a little bit less text. Um, if I click here, I will be able to submit a proposal for this RFP. Oh, I'm not logged in. Um, then I will leave that for now. Um, I logged out because otherwise you have this ugly banner uh, of WordPress here at the top. I'll leave that for now. I'll leave you uh, to it. Um, we also need to make a, a small tweak uh, on this button. So maybe it's for the better. So, yeah, I think that's all I want to say right now. I would like everybody, to, uh, urge everybody to go here. Yeah, maybe one thing. Uh, here is, uh, th this is a special one. So all of them, well, all of them are special. Uh, this one is special in its own uh, uh, way. Uh, all of them are created by the internal SingularityNet team and are related to LLMs, AGI, OpenCock, Hypro, Meta, PLN, the, that kind of uh, uh, hardcore stuff. Uh, this is also hardcore, but hardcore blockchain, I would say, creating a multi-party escrow wallet. That's the core of the platform that we have on Ethereum right now. We want to have our platform migrated to Cardano. And um, yeah, we want uh, developers to help us, uh, the, the community to help us. Uh, developing uh, for that migration. You see here Cardano Catalyst. I had some discussions about this uh, with, uh, with Cardano. I won't name any names right now because you never know. Um, to be honest, to be very honest, I'm still waiting for the final confirmation of this. Um, so it might change. The RFP will stay there no matter what. Um, whether this label will uh, stay like that exactly, we'll have to see. So have a look and uh, tell all your friends about it. Uh, today we had a newsletter going out uh, about this. All these RFPs, uh, well, this one is still uh, uh, pending, pending release um, because of that final confirmation. All the others went live today. So... Starting today, you can uh, submit your proposal uh, to one or multiple of these RFPs. And uh, if you are concerned about uh, copycats or anything, your competition looking over your shoulder, don't be. Um, for the general public, uh, if a, a proposal is submitted, the general public will only see uh, the title, the summary, and, and a few other things, but not the budget, not the details. Uh, we, the internal team and your own team is able to see that and yourself, but the rest of the community not until the submission period is uh, completely finalized. Then all the data will be opened uh, for, for everybody. So um, that's what I wanted to share. And let's continue quickly to all the other good news uh, today. I raise my hand because I have a question. Yeah, shoot. Sure. Yeah, so you're not going away as 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 quick as we want. Uh, so imagine we you apply to an RFP, you develop something. What does what is the process like? So you develop it, and then what you develop is belongs to like I don't know SingularityNet to Catalyst. It belongs to you. Uh, 
Uh, can you oh. use it in other purposes or is it just for the RFP? So the RFP is a request for proposal. So the first thing that you are doing is create a proposal. Like, uh, okay, I, I want this uh, multi-party escrow done. So you and some others say, hey, I can do it, or I can do it, and I can do it for this amount, and this is my process. I can do it for another amount, and I have a very uh, uh, experienced team, and, and so on. And based on, on those criteria, our internal team, and in this case, perhaps together with Cardano, uh, will select the winning uh, proposal. And then when you're awarded, you can start uh, developing. And then uh, I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken, all these things are open source. So uh, the ownership is you can do, you can continue to work on it. We will be able to continue to work on it. And uh, that's how we do things in general. Don't shoot me if there's is there's one uh, there which isn't, but I would be uh, surprised, uh, to be honest. All right. All right. Thank you. I don't know if anybody has any more questions, but I guess not. If not, feel free to raise your hand and participate. And now, if there's no questions, let's move to Esther. Esther, you have some news for us as well, right? Yes. So exciting. Um, so I I can see that on, it, on the agenda, it's an update, but I prefer to think of it as a teaser. Um, so today's teaser is about a, a, a new collaboration platform that the, the collaboration platform work group has been working on and thinking about for the last few months. Um, and it was interesting to me how this how this uh, uh, group and, and the project evolved, because originally I was thinking of it just as a work platform or jobs listing platform. But but as we got more and more into it, it looked like it has the potential to be so much more. You know, there's so much uh, so much potential, not just for deep funding, but to to grow the uh, Singularity Net community and potentially outreach to the ASI community in ways that that hadn't weren't completely evident to me at the beginning. So um so it's pretty exciting so we're we're hoping to to create something that we're for now calling ASI Connect the collaboration platform um which we're hoping will be able to grow the community and um and and especially serve it in this unique context because we have we have these new merges happening all the time and and there's this this shifting target um and so it would be kind of inclusive space and and uh, facilitate collaboration between different people and different groups. Um, I'm going to share uh, just two very simple slides because I find it easier just to oh I can't can't right now. Um, let me know when I can do that. You can you can. Awesome. Is that visible? Yes. Awesome. So it would be a, a place where you can find people. So we would have um, rich and detailed profiles and search functions. So you could search for people, you could search for groups, you would be able to display uh, the open projects that you're working on or the projects that you've completed, um, find people uh, perhaps by skills, have advanced uh, filtering and search functions. So it would be a really powerful tool to be able to facilitate social networking uh, and professional networking in singularity net um uh, but it would also be more than that so you know you could you could think okay well linkedin is enough for that but um it would also be a place where you could have a dashboard where you would stay updated you would get important and relevant information so you could sign up to different kinds of announcements so for example if you're part of deep funding then you could sign up for announcements about round commencements round endings that that sort of thing or you could sign up to announcements for the wider ecosystem or, or group specific announcements. And you could have that displayed on your personal dashboard. Uh, and of course, this is where it started with the offer and finding of paid work. So we would have listings for any kinds of positions or tasks. We, we didn't really want to call it exactly a jobs portal because job implies a kind of, uh, you know, it's a permanent position but there's a lot of fluidity in roles and people need different things and teams need different things so it would be for every everything really um, and it could be a social space for discussions or or professional discussions as well so so to create ideas around around um and technology or or um around ideation for rfps or start to plan or or even general discussion about ai depending on the audience 
And one thing that occurred to me is, as I, I was thinking about it, um, was that it can build trust for decentralized governance. So it, it helps decentralization on a number of levels. One, one is that it uh, allows people in the community to see who there is in, in their community. So one of the weaknesses of um, using just Discord or Mattermost or, or private messaging or Telegram is that you can't really see who's there unless they're actually interacting. Lots of people don't actually interact on social platforms and it can be hard to know that they're there. Even if they're doing loads of work, it can be hard to know that they're there. So having a place where you could actively search for people who share interests with you or have the kinds of skills that your team needs, I think that would be a really powerful tool and you wouldn't need to rely on on team members or or the central organization to be able to connect you up with people. So from that perspective, it's really helpful. And I think I think it could also be helpful for um, governance later down the line. So some of the other pieces of decentralized governance that we're thinking about are reputation and contribution systems. And, um, and this could be a place where some of that data is gathered. So if you're very active and you can show that your com projects are complete and and so on, and you're engaging on the on the different forums or however what kind of whatever kind of engagement mechanisms we're we're creating here, that could all feed into governance and build trust in the network. Um, I mean, governance is is about decision making, but this is really about building trust. So um, showing positive action and contribution in the community. Um, so that's that's what we potentially think the the value is in in the collaboration platform and the um very simple roadmap that we have for that is is to step one start start working on the website to expand functionality so some of these things are fairly easy to implement on the website already so we could do things like create job listings or um, or potentially expand the existing functionality, uh, profile functionality of the website. And then while we're doing that and starting to grow the community already, we would start to develop an RFP um, to develop the, the whole new platform. Um, and this would be a kind of pluggable architecture. So uh, it would really be great it will be really be really great for the community to start thinking about what is it that you want? What is it that you want on the platform? Because you can start building it. Um, so uh, really the, the the sky's the limit. Um, and this is quite a unique opportunity because uh, because at the moment it's uh, it's still, the canvas is still blank. It can be anything you want it to be. So um, I'd really encourage you all to, uh, we've created a survey to start gathering your feedback on it. And, um, you know, we could always be wrong. It could be that everybody is already happy with everything the way that uh, everything being the way it is. So um, we have created a I'll stop sharing now um, a survey, which is here in the chat. Um, uh, I, was, I was specifically asked to not share any screens. And I think that's probably wise because um, because this is a teaser after all. So the uh, the survey that you see the link for in the chat has four screens that we put together as possible ways that the, uh, the collaboration platform could look. Some of the core functions like the dashboard and, um, and the jobs portal and things like that are on there. So um, please fill it in. We'd love to hear your feedback. We'd love to get your input on that and, and we're super excited. And uh, thank you so much to to Raphael and Jan for helping to put that together. And I don't think he's here, but Nitin, who was our UX um, a designer, he also he helped to put the screens together. So it was really it was really great working on on this with you so far. Thank you, thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> no, thank you, Esther, for coming here. It's always nice to to see more people speaking. So thank you. And uh, yeah, I think it was a great teaser, guys. Yeah. The idea is to have a something that makes collaboration easier, makes it easier to find good people, find good opportunities, participate in projects, and just do more things together, I would say. So if you care about that, your feedback is important. Go, go give it like five minutes, and you'll see some cool screens as well. But Let's move forward. Let's move forward with operations and the great work they have done, right? Uh, I don't know if it's Roro or Safa who's going to be presenting. I hope I'm not butchering any names. Um, I'll, I'll probably start and then Safa can take it from there, I guess. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we won't impress you with designs, but hopefully the functionality is useful enough. Uh, 
I should share my screen. So let me try that. Okay. All right. Um, can you see my screen? Yes. Not perfect. Um, yeah. So a bit of a history. Uh, the the operation circle basically started out of uh the review circle uh when we started the review in in defunding round three i believe um there were a lot of challenges especially into tracking uh tracking the review making sure that uh, there is some feedback between awarded teams and the reviewers and how is that feed how does that feedback look like um, we decided on reports, for example, that was a new thing at that time. Um, and uh, there was another uh, challenge about like tracking. Uh, what data should we track about over the teams and reviews? Uh, what should we track? What shouldn't we track? What should we keep? Uh, where should we keep it? How should we keep it? And how can we automate as much as possible in, in these processes? And uh, I, I'm proud to say that uh, it's been a year, I guess. I don't know. Uh, it, it's crazy. Time flies. Uh, but it changed a lot. We had two versions so far of the uh, some of the automation system. Um, we had a single database. Now we're moving to the second version of our database uh, that is powering the website that you're looking at right now. What you're going to see today is not so impressive. It's not very impressive. But the how we got here is quite impressive. Uh, like having these people that are not really working in a company all together and all this kind of stuff, you know, different groups doing different things, but yet we kind of achieved uh, certain things that perhaps in other, let's say, decentralized funds like couldn't really achieve uh, yet. So yeah, uh, enough rumbling. What do we have here? We have the operation system. What is the operation system? It's basically a, a powerhouse that aims to facilitate operations between circles while in the same time providing as much value for the general public in terms of uh, data. We would like to, obviously this is, this is supposed to be open source, but there are, as uh, anyone can understand, there are some data that uh, usually people don't want to share, something like your wallet address. Not most people, I mean, most people are not comfortable sharing that information or maybe a private email, a private contract. Um, but there are a lot of data that many people are very um, curious about. They would like to know about it. Since they're voting publicly, they would like to have the data, the outcome of their vote. And this is what we aim to provide, at least to the public uh, for now. Before, if you we're wondering about the outcome of like a certain pool or a certain round. You usually had to go to uh, through the website and you had to uh, defunding website and you had to go through each one of the projects. You didn't have an aggregated data. Some of it was uh, presented. Obviously, Jan and Rafael are always updating about everything. Uh, but if you just wanted to to research something, that data would be very hard to to acquire. And so, we kind of decided on on this look. <clears throat> to give general community members like an outlook on, 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 on what's happening. For example, now we have a filter for all rounds. This is for all pools. And you can see already that you have 34 completed projects. Uh, you have 17 not signed. Like you have one that is canceled and a lot of them in progress. You can see how much money should have been dispersed, the total that should be dispersed, and how much has been dispersed. Uh, you can also see a breakdown by projects. And if you if you choose a certain project, for example, you can click here and you can go to their official page. Once you go there, you get so much more information, obviously, about their proposal, their milestone budgets. Uh, you can even get links to, to the deliverables, the, the reports of the deliverables. And that's something uh, that the review circle is doing, for example. Here you can see there is a video as a, as a deliverable. Well, I don't want to play the video, but sure. Um, so yeah, this is basically it. This allows you to filter 
uh, through rounds, through pools, as I said, and you can go through uh, all of the all of the other stuff. We just had an update today, uh, but unfortunately, it didn't reflect. So some of the features I'm not going to show here, but Safa is going to show you there until we solve it with the DevOps team. Uh, the next thing that I want to show is the admin page. And this is specific to uh, basically uh, to circles. Um, the admin page is basically for operation uh, team and also for the defunding team to basically check out what's going on under the hood, basically, and also to 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 facilitate payment. Uh, and this is an, some new features that uh, that uh, that you're going to see later on. Uh, we will also have a coordinators and the circle members view. Uh, that's to facilitate payments and to basically for review circle to facilitate auditing uh, and these kind of things. Uh, but those features are coming soon, not yet. Uh, this is, for example, one of the views that uh, an admin would have. Uh, and this would have slightly more information than the public one, meaning that you can access to the contract. You get a link to the contract. I don't want to click it so that I don't show any private information. Uh, you also get the team information. And again, I, I do want to show you what the pop-up is, but... Uh, this is being recorded, so unfortunately. So basically, once you, you click here, you, you get a pop-up, and that shows you all the information about the team. Yeah, you can imagine how it looks like. Um, uh, yeah, you get also a breakdown for a specific team. For example, we can go to round three, some random one in round three. And you can see, okay, this is completed. Nice. You can see that it's 100% completed. If, if there are any remaining milestones, you would see it. And you can see a breakdown of the milestones. How, uh, how much was the milestone worth? You can also go to the report. This shouldn't be that private, so perhaps we can go there. Um, you can go to the report, and this is a very simple report. It just mentions some information about the project, what is the main deliverable link, uh, the, some of the dates, feedback, and all this kind of information. <clears throat> and this is it. I guess now I will uh, give the mic to, to Safa and perhaps she can show you the other stuff uh, in the in the local um, in the local case. Yeah, uh, Rojo, sure. uh, uh, yeah sorry. Uh, sorry, Safa. No, sorry. Uh, it's also important to explain or show where the community can go and access the part that they are allowed well, to. Oh yeah, to for access. sure. Uh, well, the most important thing is, I guess, the link, which I will copy right now into the chat. So, yeah, so we have the link in the chat. Next thing, let's go back here. So once you click on the link in the chat, you will basically be faced with this, uh, with this view. You will go to the community portal. It's a confusing name that we will change. It was supposed to change today, but the, the update didn't work. Uh, so once you go there with the new name that you will see later on, you can click on rounds. And once you go there, you can do whatever you want, basically. <laughs> this is your data. Enjoy it. Uh, you can filter down by round, by pools. You can go down to the specific project you're wondering about. Uh, and yeah, this is it. We will have many more features in the future. Uh, for example, uh, we'll have a dashboard that is still in discussion with, the, with Rafael and with Jan. Uh, also about circles. The community should know what circles... Uh, how much circles are being funded, what work is being done, and all this kind of stuff. And we're discussing what kind of future, how will it look like, and all these things. So whatever uh, data we can put out in the public, you will find it there and uh, uh, enjoy it. Let us know if there, are, if there is any bug or any, any problem, and yeah, that's, that's all. Thank you. Uh, Safa? Yeah, uh, yeah. All right. Now I will share my screen to show the the update that should have been uh, up today. But uh, so, uh, can you see right now? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So this, uh, this is like the updated system. As he said, we changed the community portal. It's now called the public view. And also, there is some minor changes we've done to the page. Like, uh, it was uh, suggested by Raphael the last time we did a meeting. Like, for example, here you said, like, the 
total milestones and completed milestones should be separated as we said last time now you can see like uh, the amount of completed milestone out of uh, how many milestones uh, we have for example for this uh, for this project, uh, this is like uh, this view we already talked about. We will see now the other views. Uh, for like for the admin page, we had three main uh, three main uh, pages. This is the awarded project that was presented by Rojo, and then we have the all data, uh, all data page. This will give us the uh, uh, a uh, global view of the database. I don't know. I shouldn't uh, show it. Yeah, I'm sorry for uh, interrupting. Yeah, if you show the old data, then I don't know. There, there, there was one page that had some private data. Is it the the teams? Was it the teams? I think the teams, right? Uh, I will not show it. I will uh, yeah. for this project. It just give a, like title, description, total milestone. It's, it's I don't think it's private data. So this is just, uh, this give all the data that we have in the database that will be accessed, uh, just the, the other administrators will get uh, this view uh, via login, of course. And then we have the final page, which is uh, basically, uh, if we want some info, either then uh, some names or some Mattermost ID, or uh, for example, email, it, uh, a person can search like uh, search either team projects or member circle members and we get uh, the info we want on it i will i will not uh, be searching now so i don't show private information but uh, uh using this page we get uh, like uh, the info uh, about a certain uh, uh, so is it is it okay I, I don't know rafael to be honest like if if people are already on metamos they have access to emails of the people here and also to their metamorphs ID. Yeah. Like, is it is it really private? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. you can have more than. Sorry. Yeah. No, no, you can have more than one mayo, specifically one in ah. Mattermost, because you say, hey, anyone can reach it, reach me out here. But for us to be more directly contacted, they might be willing to give another one. So. It it, yeah. it is so it is so frustrating for us because we want to show you how these things look like. But yeah. <laughs> we can't show you. Uh, also, for future, like a lot of the future uh, features, we'll be able to show you how it looks. But then, like the way the how it functionality, the functionalities, we 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 just can't show you. Uh, it's it's like um, I don't know. <laughs> but I have to say, we are we are already impressed about the work you guys did here. Okay, developing all of these. Well I have an idea, Rojo. There are a number of people in the call that are awarded projects. Oh, and maybe okay. there's one person here that says, well, I don't mind if my uh, email address or something will be shown online. And if that is the case, we could search for that particular project. Oh, me? I mean, <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, maybe we can select the table members. I mean, I mean, in both tables, but we can go oh. for uh, members, I guess. Yeah, also, sure. Rojo. Just no, sorry to interrupt, but sure. maybe Juan, just for Rojo to be safer, can you just blur out on the editing or put like a black <laughs> thing <laughs> on, on uh, his information and then it's sure. just between us and it's not. Yeah. On I, I, I thought about that and I was like, if we keep saying like blur, 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 he's, he's going to swear at us when he's <laughs> editing. <laughs> just once, right? It's just this one, right? I hope. I, I don't know. Oh. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Um, a coordinator, I got uh, or oh, you can stop sharing, yes, um, then get to your profile, then start sharing again. No, it's okay because that email I'm already putting it in Metamorph, so I, I don't think it's a problem. So, uh, is coordinator is active review, uh, circle, I guess, operation circle, maybe you can filter by that, yeah, operations. I uh, guess. And then coordinator. Hopefully, it won't show. Yeah, it might show. Um, yeah, some info about other people. So I don't know. Anyway, it's gonna be blurred. It's gonna be <laughs> yeah, blurred. Okay. Just go for it. Yeah, just go for it. So yeah, so mayor. I don't think he minds, but oh, it's okay. So it's, it's gonna shows, be blurred. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
basically is give us uh, for example since we search in members table it will give us this table and we have the ability to download it download it uh, uh, to csv so you can like uh, if you want to access it and you will get like the members and if you if you have data of uh, both in the members table and team projects table you will get to one excel sheet with two tabs two tabs basically that's it uh i hope it's good i don't know yeah <laughs> if, if, if nothing add... nothing mind blowing <laughs> but yeah yeah if I may add here, yeah, it's this is very important, everyone, because it's kind of a CRM, half or partial of it. Because sometimes uh, we, as the funding circles or staff, we need to be very, uh, to direct messages to our the teams, but not only our the teams, but round four and et cetera, from news, uh, new services pool and et cetera. And before it was very difficult to have this list uh, without losing or wasting a lot of time. So uh, I reached out to Rojo and, and, and Safa to work on that, besides all the part of milestones that we also work together to get alive. But this is the why we are having, and that's why it's in the admin part and not for everyone. But we might be thinking in the future to have in this collaboration portal or even the community portal, uh, a, a way or a place for everyone to reach everyone considering its role in the in the ecosystem. So for now, we are going to keep it in Nadimin with these informations, but in the future, we might be having also this possibility of, hey, what's the email of such role? Boom, then you get the person there. Just a small thing that I also would like to add is that like a lot of these functionalities are very simple, but uh, what, what, what is there but we are not showing is like this uh, mountains of operations, automations, and also a database. <clears throat> and these things are very valuable. And the reason for that is whenever we get a request for a feature, like, oh, we would like to have blah, 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 blah in the website. It, that basis that we already have is what allows us to actually deliver that and per perhaps add different views. We can add different dashboards or whatever. Uh, those are just like an outcome of like the, the basis of the work that is already there and it's being updated every day, to be honest. Um, yeah. Awesome. So I guess, do we want questions, feedback on the platform right now? Uh, -huh. uh if there are any questions, they're very welcome feedback. Although I would say it's premature, I guess you'll have to use it to get a couple of bug bugs and uh, but feedback now is welcome. Feedback even a month from now or a week from now is welcome. Please use it. Click around. Uh, I don't think there is much to do now, but maybe a week from now you'll have slightly more things to play with. But uh, yeah, uh, please give us feedback. You already know, Rojo, that I love this thing. I absolutely fucking love it. And um, it's it's really important for deep funding. Uh, we are spending uh, every week. We have payments, uh, like a list of payments made uh, to circle members and to projects, etc. And it would be so easy to get lost in all these things that we paid, etc. We started with an Excel sheet or a spreadsheet. Uh, but as we are growing, uh, it's harder to keep track, and it's more important to keep track. So. Um, yeah, this, this makes me sleep a lot better, I think, knowing that this is all uh, there and all in the right place. And maybe the best thing about it is that having all that data in one place, we can do with it basically what we want. I can already imagine uh, other dashboards with, with milestones released every week. Um, I can imagine reports that we will use for uh, our accounting uh, with uh, that are formatted in exactly the way that the accountant wants to have it on the push of a button. And I mean, the professionality of this really amazes me and astounds me. And um, I, I already said the best thing about this is, but uh, the other best thing about this is that I didn't have to do anything. Uh, it was Rojo and Safa and Raphael and uh, thank you guys, you did an absolutely amazing job and I'm so happy 
uh, to have you here in the community and doing that stuff. This is really the power of the community. Wonderful. Big applause. Yeah. By the way, Cardoso, can I can I share a screen? Just to, since we also talked about history here. <laughs> yes. Yay, and now I can. So just for you all to know, Jan mentioned about the spreadsheet that we used to have. Uh, I took care of not letting the wallet addresses, emails, and etc. They are above. Okay, so here you have the view of what you developed, which was very good, uh, by the way. Uh, it was calculating everything, and it was also beautiful, right? Pretty. <laughs> to, Blast from um, the past, Rafael. Yeah. So now we have this amazing uh, system that Rojo and Safa uh, are developing. And believe me, this is just the tip of the iceberg. We are still uh, going further and making it better and better. Just for here, you see, this is what I and Ian use it to use uh, during the primordials <laughs> of deep funding a year ago. And you also <laughs> see all that taps at the bottom, right? Bottom right. So oh yeah, yeah, no, right. Let me. Don't show it. Don't show it. <laughs> no, let. Well, you know just... it. There's... There's Whoa, well, don't don't show no, it. No, well, no, no, I'm not showing. It's just to show the, the the tabs itself, just for you to understand. One tab of this would uh, access the other and the other and the other and would do the magic for us to understand what what was going on. Uh, and now it's each time more automated thanks to Rojo, Safa, and others. So yeah, very good, very good to have this. We are just pointing the direction and and the circles and the community are doing many, many important and very interesting things as well. Amazing to have this community along with us. Uh, I want to add a very small thing. Uh, so I guess some community members are here or the teams as well, and perhaps hopefully they will watch the, this video as well. Uh, I would like to end formally or not non-formally announce like we will have an update for the database uh, in the next one to two weeks. We will have a formal, obviously a formal uh, uh, post where we will say this and so that people prepare maybe so that they don't get surprised if uh, you know things are not working properly. Uh, this will probably interrupt uh, you know submitting milestones and this kind of stuff for at least a couple of days uh, because we want to make sure that everything is working okay. Uh, but yeah, uh, that will be basically the 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 start of a new era, I guess. But yeah, soon, soon, hopefully. This awesome. is uh, mostly, mostly, most, I guess the, the, at least for the operations of the funding, the main drive for it uh, was to become from, of, uh, to avoid errors, right? Especially when paying and etc. cetera. Uh, one, well, I, I guess it's not a problem to, to also share here. When we migrate from the this system that you saw I shared with you to the one that Rojo is doing, even though it was very primitive, we audited and only two or three hundred dollars were uh, not missing but paid in, in, in surplus, which is amazing because we had handled millions of US dollars at that point. And even there we were, but uh, we knew that we would have more and more the size of the awarded teams, uh, community circles would increase. So we prepared ourselves in order to achieve this point and to avoid, we have a huge responsibility with uh, deep funded treasury. And also the second point was the transparency for the, the community. So we have this control on what's going on, uh, but also to give and have the transparency for the community, which um, also I talk a bit more, I shared here the link to the blog post that we launched uh, today, we released it today, uh, for you to have a better also understanding on the drives that took us here and why we are doing this. So, yeah, it's, I love it, the journey so far, and I am still excited with the journey that we have uh, ahead doing this and connecting to the automation right for the awarded teams and also for the the circles 
we want to have uh, we want to streamline the information the status of the milestones delivered the getting directly to the proposers or team leads for them to know where what's the status of the project when they receive they are going to receive the, the funding also the members of the circles we are going to connect also with the tasks that we request from the from the circle members so we are going to have this task request system that i have been pitching for for a while but we are going to have some sort of uh, this part as well and one circle one member of circle will be able to request tasks for each other or among themselves in the same circle or for the funding or for singular net because they have to have that and we are going to attach these requests and execution of the perform performing the, the tasks to the payments which you saw here at least the uh, the menu so it's going to be very very informative under the sense of management control and also transparency right hopefully it's going to be soon Raphael, back to you. All right, very interesting. As a matter of fact, that just gave me a question. Uh, so like, for example, even when we as circles are filling, for example, payment data or whatever, and the tasks we are completing, uh, should will that in the future change to that platform directly? Is that the idea? Yes, that's, that's the idea. So if you are a circle member, you have access to it and then you are going to be able to implement. But we are going to to work this step by step, right? Initially, we are going to, to keep the spreadsheets that we are using, Google Forms and etc. that will create a spreadsheet. And then one thing that we are also open to use are the CSVs, updating things uh, in this sense. Which is also something that we are we we are, we were discussing last uh, meeting about creating APIs. We can't have two sources of truth, right? So we have the milestones, for instance, in the portal in our website. So you are at uh, our team, you deliver a, a milestone, and then you are approved. You receive the payment. So we have the operation circle mainly through Victor Mayor. Uh, he goes into the back end and update what you see in our uh, website uh, with the other teams, among other our other data. But now we are about to have two, uh, so we have to connect them through an API in order to automate this process. And when the database uh, that Roho is developing is updated, the portal will be updated as well, uh, seamlessly. So this is very important. Otherwise. Imagine one week later or two or three days later, you will still have different information within the same environment. It's not ideal. And the same for the circles. Okay. But the circle itself, the portal, it's not the current, not the regular one or deep funding main portal. It's the community website that we are also willing to create this differentiation. So the system will feed the deep funding uh, dot AI and it's going to feed the community portal uh, independently uh, and also be shown in each part, in each portal, what it's most more important to it. All right. I think that's nice. Super interesting. Those potential for automations are, I guess, exciting in the long run. All right. So before we wrap up, however, I think I'll share something by the way, because who knows, maybe someone, maybe you guys from the community can help us. Um, next week, we are going to have uh, an event. Uh, this was not planned, so <laughs> I'm just sharing right now because I, I remember that it, it could be worth it. We're going to have a workshop on the Cardano Summit on the Thursday, the October 24th. From 2 p.m. to 3 p.m., uh, it will be hosted by me and uh, by Judith. And uh, we already have a few people going, but if you happen to be on the Cardano Summit, we'll also have a, a startup booth. You can go there, check it out. We'll have some merch. So, guys, you you here are the ones that deserve this mo merch the most. So, I'd love to see you there and to make sure you get something, a T-shirt, uh, 
something special for you to take home, whatever you want. Um, and also, if you know anybody who might be interested in learning more about deep funding and is in the Cardano Summit, feel free to share this link with them as well. Um, we'll have a presentation. We'll be there to ask them questions, help them on board. And um, as part of Deep Funding Academy, we'll off also offer mentorship to the people participating in these um, workshops just to help them um, understanding deep funding and how they can participate now in the different opportunities we have. I'll leave the link in the description, in the description, in the, <laughs> in the chat. And uh, yeah, if you... If you want, if you know somebody, that would be awesome. Or if you want to show up as well, you're always welcome. But I think you're pretty much on board, <laughs> most likely. So yeah, thank you all. And uh, now, yeah, and Raphael, do you have anything else you want to say? Anything to wrap up the call? Good luck in Dubai next week. Uh, thank you, thank you. Next week, AO will be the one hosting the open all ends. So it's, it's oh. going to be better oh. for sure. <laughs> don't miss it yeah <laughs> next week amazing. wednesday at 2 p.m utc so yeah don't miss amazing it. amazing yeah, don't miss it and also on my side just to again remember and reinforce if you have anything uh, well if you are open to please go to the community portal and, and apply to become a member of, of one of our circles it's going to be a pleasure to have you all onboarding and supporting us, like Rafael, Ayuru, Sapa, and many others that here are to to do this great work towards our uh, purpose, mission, vision, and etc. So, I in advance I thank you all for applying. All right, everyone. Now it's your time to say something if you want to, but if you don't want. <laughs> we'll wrap this up thank you so much for being here and for participating in this community it wouldn't be the same without you and i hope to see you again next week on the open all lands on um, wednesday at 2 p.m utc and uh, you had to end up oh Devo, please yeah i guess i should raise my i really have a question for um Rojo about like in, in in general on this like building that platform um, it's not like operations is quite close to me and like automating stuff and everything I do. And, and I find a lot of time that the first thing is of course, documentation and having the clarity of what you're doing, because usually the day, as soon as you document, it's like, mm, okay, I, we could improve it. And it's like every week it just gets changed and changed. And, um, yeah, and I never really reached to that point where, okay, now it's time for platform and, and pull all of that information together. So where did you kind of find that, um, like the where the rubber meet the road? Like, okay, this is what needs to be automated. This is the impact you will have at that time. And like, how was to create that kind of platform to you to have the previous experience, or or is was that also a new experience totally? Uh, to be honest, I mean, it's been a roller coaster. I mean, uh, I remember in the first in the first days, I would say the first months doing uh being a coordinator in the review circle that's kind of where the journey started and i remember sitting with tommy and being in a call and we're going through like this step-by-step -step process for how to do something i think it was the beginning like how to do how to do a review how to do the the report itself how do you write it who should do what if the report is done where should it go and all this kind of stuff and it was it was even before setting up the the GitHub, the GitHub, uh, um, you know, project space and all this kind of stuff. And it started from there, and then it was like basically automating small things and basically making the process for it, and then realizing that that process sucks and it needs to be <laughs> reiterated. <laughs> and uh, for example, like a small example is, uh, let's say, uh, milestone delivery. Okay. There is an automation just for milestone delivery. Somebody sends it to the, to, there is a form, Google form for it. Somebody puts it there. What should happen? Where should it go? Who should be notified? All this kind of stuff. And it started with version zero where there was no automation or like very minor things. Right now it's at V1 dot 
I don't know, like uh, 17 or something like that. Something crazy, like a 17 times iteration on the same thing. And it, it's been going like this. And uh, the main motivation for this to have a platform, which is a web page and you enter and you log in is two main things. There's only two main things that are the reason for this to exist. Because otherwise you can use Google Sheets. I mean, Jan showed you, we had our versions of Google Sheets and you know, we use Google Sheets until now. The, <laughs> the main motivations are first one, access. How do you manage access? Who should access what and when? And you can do that better on a platform because you can give logins and change access in the, back, in the background or in the, uh, in the database. But with Google Sheet, you can't really do that, especially with views. Once somebody has access, they can be either an editor, a commenter, or a viewer, but they still view everything. So that's a big problem. And, <coughs> and the second thing is being able to, to, to kind of visualize that, that data and, and, and have it out there and have people interact with it. And this is not easy at all to do it on a, on a Google Sheet. You can do it to a certain extent. You can do nice dashboards and all, but it, it's very hard to take it to the next level. Where if, if you think of a feature like, for example, automating a payment, which is something you're very familiar with, it's, it's, it's very hard to do it with just a sheet. I'm not even considering the smart contract part or blockchain part, just like the whole process. Doing it on a sheet is very hard, and you know this very well. So you, you will have to have some certain next level where you're using a back end with a front end that has some certain features and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, it's just literally just going step by step. Very cool. And if, I may, if I may add to what you also to give here, uh, Rojo started to do this small thing and then small but very important and, and it, it was streamlining everything and giving more confidence to the process itself when i was working on this part Ian as well we used to receive for instance milestones and emails slack and etc etc then whoa where is it and then we have to find it and then they started to build this structure and i said okay it's interesting to have to know that they have this ability uh, so let's sit here. I, I, I draft the, 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 the first uh, the first idea of it, and then we got to this. It's still primitive as well. Not primitive, but not that complex as it's becoming. But this is the first overview that I built, and then uh, Rojo also jumped in here and put each color here is one part of what we have. So milestones, circles. Here's the contract and CVS comes from here to there and let's integrate and, 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 and what's going to be automated or not. Uh, and then Rojo jumped in and I said, okay, now he is going. And I, I am also sometimes say, oh, this is very nice. It's done because he understands himself, understands the process as, as well. So sometimes we just spark the things and then they go uh, and, and, and do uh, even bigger things than what we approach. And why I'm telling this, again, it's the third time I'm going to say, becoming a member of the of one of our circles, you also have this possibility to contribute in this sense. It's not just to execute tests, but also to ideate and put your ideas on and perhaps change uh, things, right? You see sometimes, oh, right? oh, this is not okay in the funding program. This takes too long. This takes, it's, I'm not confident. Right? So join, join us, become a circle member and help us to improve every day uh, better. Okay. So, okay. For the third time, go there, apply and become a circle member. I think we see how, how important this is for Rafael and Jan just by their happiness and how they... <laughs> Want to spend the entire day speaking about this, right? <laughs> so it's good. It's good. It's probably make your life easier a lot, right? All right, everyone. Anybody else has any questions? Thank you, Thivo, for raising your hand just before <laughs> we wrap it up. But if you have, you can still have uh, time to ask them or to bring any topic you'd like. Okay, sorry. I have a, um, a comment. Um, I overheard um, um, 
someone um, like looking for resources for documentation. Yeah, right. Yeah, I have um, resources for documentation that I'm currently using. Very simple, like um, technical project documentation, like um, MK Docs, basically. If I could share my screen, I would um, show it. You can use it for basically anything. I have like a template I use for my work. So I can share that template if anyone is interested. It's open source. Like is that is it that kind of resource that um, that is needed? Well, you mean and sorry, uh, Anthony. So you are willing to share your process for documentation, the, the template for documentation? Yes, exactly. It's an open okay. source. Um, it's an open source resource. MK Docs. I don't know if anybody has used it. It's very simple and straightforward. You can okay. even assign um, users to specific. Um, Processes. Share with me, please. Yeah, we we are we have a DM uh, in Mattermost, so please share with me. Let's discuss and see what um, what we can do. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, very important and interesting that you brought this because we are developing this uh, deep funding manual book or how to uh, where we are giving role. We have we have plenty of roles in deep funding program, right? Awarded teams. Circle members, deep funding staff, and so on, so on, and each uh, even overlapping. Sometimes one one person it, it feels more than one role, but for when you have some doubt on how what to do or and how to do, you can go there and say in Git book you can go there and uh, have a step by step process uh, to perform what you are uh, aiming for. Okay. I'm going to share the link with you all, but uh, we, well, yeah, I think we have the link in the portal as well, deepfunding.ai, you go to the menu and you can find there, uh, no, the quick start guide is for the for publishing service, but yeah, I'm going to share with you all plenty, many, 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 many things happening, so. Sometimes, what is there? In the menu, you can find the how-to guide and you are going to get the Git book on how to perform this. So I guess, Anthony, it goes in the direction of what you are uh, sharing with mm -hmm. us. And thank you for yes. that. Thank you for that. Well, I would like to add that uh, documentation is something that's important and undervalued, I think, at the moment. Um, we had this discussion in the focus group a number of times. How do we keep track of all the things that we're doing and saying? And we never found a good solution because uh, always it's one person uh, that has to be focused on that and not being able to participate freely in the conversation or we all are distracted and so it, it's always a little bit awkward. Uh, also had discussions on um, better documentation of changing rules. So from round to round, the rules are changing and we have some way of, of keeping that, but it's far from ideal. So that's another one. And if we're talking about documentation and content in a more wider thing than uh, TiVo, um, we are looking for circle members. So um, uh, also uh, in marketing on the content uh, area. So uh, there's also content on the website. We can do much more on the, uh, uh, so documentation. Uh, also documentation on how um, uh, the, the RFP process works, how deep funding round uh, do, uh, does. We get more and more routes in, uh, in, in deep funding to get funded. Right now we have two RFPs and, and deep funding rounds, but uh, there are a few more in the pipeline, community driven or community created RFPs are one of them and, and it will probably not end there. So document it will, it, the whole system is becoming more and more complex. Um, if I if I can chip in to what the others were saying about do you remember and where we are now, um, I, I won't go all the way back, but I'm amazed that uh, a little bit, a uh, year, year and a half ago, we started with a review circle and the focus group, and now we have eight circles. 
And all of them are doing interesting and useful uh, stuff. So the program is growing uh, in, in all kinds of ways, in complexity of the funding rounds, in the organization itself. So, uh, yeah, Anthony, uh, documentation in general is becoming more and more uh, important and making that documentation very accessible uh, as well. So... Yeah, pat on the back for all of you uh, for making the project uh, documentation more accessible, for making the rules uh, more accessible. Um, but I also know that we still have a lot of ground to cover and that we can improve in, in multiple ways. So uh, perfectly good call. And I'm very interested in uh, any opportunities. And I'm also interested, uh, Tivo, in people who would like to apply for our circles. Um, so, uh, yeah. especially uh, content people. Two Still more, two, to two more to go. <laughs> yes. I will um, take that to people who create content and see. Well, here is a community who is very good at building tools and decentralized governance. And if you want to help, then get to here. That's the maximum I will do. And maybe I will just a link. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm I'm joking here, but seriously, what what I what what I'm really looking for at this moment, because there's so many changes in deep funding, and you wouldn't believe all the ideas uh, I and and others and and Raphael have in our heads to uh, other things that we want to do. Um, it doesn't suffice anymore to to tell people you have to do this or you have to do that. We need somebody who takes ownership of that content, who is uh, uh, proactive and who goes out and, and looks at the site and say, hey, uh, we uh, there's something missing here. Or I know that this and this is happening, but I can't find it anywhere. Or this content is okay on the website, but I would like to have it in a different format so that we can also put it out on LinkedIn or other social media in a better way, etc. So there's a lot there that needs to be done. And the most important part of that is first before creating, having a really good in-depth understanding of everything that's going on in deep funding. So if anybody here knows that person who would like to wrap their head around all these uh, uh, intricate, uh, sophisticated or stupid uh, processes that we have and all the rules and conditions and, and trajectories and routes, and then would like to package that in a way that it is easily accessible and understandable for everybody, let me know. Number seven. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, what we expect, One mainly to what we expect from, the, from the circle member is not for us to tell what circle members and coordinators and circles itself should do. It's, uh, it should be they telling us what they are doing and even what we have to do. I, I don't want to go there, oh, you should be creating the page for one page for the website telling this. No, should be the circle member saying, hey, we need this because I understand the process. I studied, I know what's going on and I believe this is going to be good. And then we are going to say, hey, great, let's do it, right? If they need to be supported to, well, I don't know, licenses or whatever, we are going to go after, but it should be the opposite. We don't want to make top down. It should be bottom up. Okay. And hey, yeah, here, here it is. Program, well, our portal is funding about AI program documentation. When you click it, hopefully you are seeing the Git book now. Uh, then we have the Git funding book, book, which we have the roles, as I mentioned, our audit team. If you are on our audit team, you wanna know something, we are going to have the step-by-step -step here. If you are a review circle member, if you are dealing with the all circles, I mean, it's the common backbone of almost, uh, all circles, circles payments, useful links and etc. Of course, as you can see, we are still building this, but again, connecting to what I just said, we wanna have members and coordinators that do stuff, right? And they don't have to even ask us to come here and create these instructions for this particular step that we have in your circle uh, and uh, be more proactive and self diligent. So, yes, we are expecting you, proactive people, to join us. <laughs> uh, 
All right. <laughs> what <a> ad. <laughs> I think you, you guys are showing talent for the marketing circle, <laughs> selling the marketing circle so many times. Well, all right. Does anybody want to say anything else, guys? Is it your last chance? If somebody wants to take my job, then let me know. Then I will do more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nobody's saying anything. All right. <laughs> They know how really hard good. it is, so. <laughs> well, but it's also very rewarding, guys. So. No tickers. <laughs> most, most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. All right. Uh, great session today, I would say. Yeah. It was, uh, I don't know, we packed so many information in one session that it was interesting. Uh, a lot of different things today and very, like, short in the, each of the things so that was i think interesting different from usual right yeah you do that more often less talk more show <laughs> more more chilling the marketing circle <laughs> <laughs> more invites to join the circle the circles yeah or, or do the <laughs> surveys don't forget about the survey <laughs> don't forget the survey right uh, uh, well all right everyone thank you for being here it was a great uh, having this moment with you was great talking about deep funding seeing so much progress and so much great thing going on thank you and hopefully i'll see you next week on open all ends or at least the week after in the town hall once again have a great week week everyone bye bye